Hi everyone, it's Tracy from Country Charm by Tracy, and today we're going to be creating some vintage Nation firecrackers using some Cricut cartridge boxes. I'm just going to be repurposing those and creating a holiday 4th of July home decor item. Okay, the supplies that I used is the scrapbook paper is Vintage Nation from uh, the Paper Studio, which I picked up over at Hobby Lobby. It has some really cool um, subdued colors in this pack. The size of the firecrackers is the largest three Cricut boxes, the medium is two boxes, and the small was one box. Now to weight them down, um, you can use some sand or some rocks to weight them down. So if you want to, you know, have them a little more secure so they don't uh, tip over very easy. And just to put them all together, I just use some trusty old duct tape. For the paper, um, once I decided which ones I wanted to use, I just kind of formed them around the box. Didn't do anything really spectacular. Just kind of, you know, just formed it around the box, give those creases. I did pull out my brayer tool and that really helped me smooth down the paper around the sides of the box to really get those crisp edges. And then I just mixed and matched some of the papers just to kind of give it um, a different look. To finish off the top of, uh, sorry, to finish off the top of the box, I just cut some slits right in the top, and just kind of, you know, it wrapped it kind of like a um, a gift or a present, and just secured that down. For the top of the box, for the wick of the um, firecracker, I just used some jute rope, and I just tied a knot in it, and I just hot glued that to each, uh, just to the top of each of the firecrackers. And to give it a more primitive country look, which I like, um, I just tied some burlap ribbon around the middle of each of the firecrackers. Okay, I just took some tea stained tags and just took my Sharpie markers and just doodled those up with a few 4th of July America phrases. Liberty, America, and Freedom. And just using some thin jute, I just tied it on, um, just attached it to the burlap ribbon just like that. So thanks so much for watching everyone. I hope you've enjoyed my Vintage Nation 4th of July firecrackers. And uh, I'll be using these and enjoying them for years to come. And if you would like to see more repurposed uh, projects that I did using Cricut cartridge boxes, uh, I will leave a link in this video so that you can visit my blog and see some other projects that I've done over the past few years. So please like my video and uh, give, leave me a comment and let me know what you liked and uh, subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching.